everyone, this is Tyler, and I'm here with Liz. Yay. And we are back with episode 14 of Let's Play Hogwarts Legacy. Um, you know, uh, doesn't seem like it, but we're actually making really good progress. Um, specifically towards our, uh, as I said, our goal is to 100%. And when I say 100%, it means our uh, challenges will be at 100%. Um, that it does not necessarily mean completing every Merlin trial or completing um, or collecting every single page. Did you know that you can use the Mandrake to defend You know, yourself? if that is something you guys are interested in, please let us know. Um, you know, we can add some supplementary episodes of us doing that. But uh, in the interest of already how long the game, how long the game is already, um, you know, with us still doing all the side quests, getting all the 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 pages um, that the challenges require us, defeating the number of all the enemies, dueling dueling feats, um, that's <gasps> ooh, potions, potions class. class. Um, that's already a lot. Um, so. With that in mind, uh, like I said, our goal, 100% on the challenges, which is enough to complete, quote-unquote, complete our field guide. Um, and then once we do that, we can, uh, we'll decide what game we want to play, what Never game we're going to play for the channel after that. completely incompetent, which he is. We have a few. We have a few different ideas. We have a few ideas. Anything from Sly Cooper? I know. Um, I've toyed with the idea of playing. Ooh, might as well follow it. couple of games we've talked about uh, besides is, um, you know, we have the Kingdom Hearts series that uh, eventually I would love to play through for the channel. Um, the other one is, I did say we would play through Sly Coop, the Sly Cooper games. Well, we start and we do. Well, there's only one, it was only one, we only ever got one episode out. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it'll be start over, which isn't hard. We'll, and uh, that one, at least the first one, I plan on 100%ing. Potentially. We'll see. Okay. Uh, so there's, you know, there's the Slight Cooper games. We'll go from one, uh, well, I guess it's Thievius Raccoonus, then Sly 2, Sly 3, then Sly 4. You pass the... This is the Oru Badge. Professor Sharp's Oru Badge. Corps is comprised of ministry of magical law enforcement, protect the listening worlds from all sorts of, of threats, particularly those pos posed by dark magic. This Oru Badge belongs to Professor Sharp. So. I hate to see a creature get put Daddy. I will say, no classes have certainly evolved from when, uh, you know, from the book, from how we see them in the books and in the movies, to how we see them now. So right now we're seeing what? Slytherins, Ravenclaw, we're seeing a mix of all four classes. From what I remember, in the books, um, it was Gryffindors and Slytherins. And, and Hufflepuffs and Ravenclaws. Yep. That when they... When, uh, they usually referred that to that as a double subject, and when that was double subject, it means both houses were there. Correct? No, it means they had a two-block period of the Oh, same see, class. I always thought doubles meant two houses. Luke and Brad, no, because they always had the two houses. Won every single mm. battle. When they say, oh, we have double potions, it's they have it back-to-back. -back. It's a long time. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. This is a Snape As slander is, channel. You will be required will to reach all new heights of both Not Alan discipline Rith and intellect. Yes, Alan Rickman is fantastic. You will okay, begin Alan this term by brewing I mean, a Wigan Weld potion. You know what I mean. 
Mr. Takar, can you tell us Sad why race. this particular potion? Oh, another character we will allow and slander and on yes, is Dumbledore. Shot. The and I'm can be used to That's anyone. There, there's no that goes without saying. If you like Umbridge, like as a like, but not all. If you like her as a villain, awesome, cool. I can get Before that. Today's class but if you like agree with her of you will have and her politics and whatnot, of and think she's like, oh man, she's a cool dude. You never know when please you might need do not it. subscribe to our channel. Please begin. I mean, but please subscribe to our channel. You, we you do like subscribers, help. but. No, Please. there's no might. You will need help. But, um, but anyways. I don't know anyone in the Harry Potter Use a fandom. strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One oh, errant sneeze could be disastrous. To be fair, Wigan Wolf is a pretty simple potion. Great green gobs of speaker. Okay. And yet, some people have to move. Neville. <clears throat> Omnis. But Omnis is Omnis blind. has an excuse. He's blind. Oh, I see most of you have not forgotten how to, not forgot how to stir. How do you forget how to stir, though? Like, what is he... Hmm. Mean by that? Not an easy potion to brew. Well, you know well how done. had we go. And from what I hear of your recent first, exploits in Hogsmeade, yeah. you'd also do well to Forget practice brewing stir, a defensive Edurus potion. You would go Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Does it matter what Good. way? You yes. For the moment, you can find Seems the ingredients so you need in my stirring office. Is stirring is stirring. But in it the future, you'll be expected stuff. to yeah. provide your own ingredients. See, that is why, from the ladies and gents, if you have the money, you invest in a self-stirring culture. Others, yeah, however, may be harder to obtain. No, and you can't. They are to be a bit cheating. more resourceful. Although, <laughs> see me when you let's growing. say, oh, okay, hold on. And we'll see I gotta find it. Or luck the first time around. I gotta find. I'm gonna read a meme for y'all. My parents considered keeping me home from school. Professor Sharp said that Wiganwell's potion can treat injuries. injuries. Hope I never need Hope it. I never need it. My Wiganwell potion is utter rubbish. Oh, is Wish I could just good. replace it with one from J. Pippins. Okay. Replace it with one from J. Pippins. Fine job brewing your first Wiganwell potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going I've to be a busy fine. year. Is this... Hi, Sebastian. Um, this is the one. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Correct, he did right? say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. This Brilliant! Me. You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait. I well, apologize for everyone Professor that I'm not talking. She's I'm... my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she Sorry, can't yeah. be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an endurance potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm on something that's just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that one extra spark. I suspect that's that where I come in. in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single foop of feather. I need a single As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'm not sure that's I don't know, good. Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. You foop won't. feathers aren't right. that valuable. Yes. Sharp won't even miss it. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a foop of feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what, what I'm brewing. Hurry this back is to a me very specific meme oh, involving Harry Potter and the Gold Cauldron. Oh boy! And it's uh, a whole well like um, they basically go through the whole, all the books Rebellion. with Snape making fun of Harry for having a gold cauldron. Now I cannot find the meme and it is bugging me. Ooh. Memorandum: The 31st of uh, December 1875 from Order Office. Subject Morgan and Burks. 
Borgen Emperor has had an increased amount of activity outside of our ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know the shop's reputation, we are adding more orders to join those uh, that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. So does he still work for the... Yep. Ah, uh, can you be a teacher and an or? Apparently. I guess, uh, there... I guess there's... I don't know. It's hard to say. Did you get the food for Feather? Not yet. Now, uh, for our viewers, you do not have to grab this Feather. But I encourage you to do it, because... Well, one, you can grab it and choose to keep it, I guess, if you want to use it for upgrades later on. Why? Find this. Be that you're for it. Dowel. It's bugging me. It was... I might have found, oh, it's a, it might be a TikTok. Here's the food for feather you wanted. The Brilliant, you thank wanted. you. This is going to take a moment it's to brew. Take a few moments you should get to back brew. to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction is finished. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> it was a TikTok. Proficiency oh, in potion. Uh, can you imagine that? Absolutely. Right. So, um, patience and be uh, TikTok user Kirby Alice, right? Uh, she does a lot of TikTok content. She's also been doing a lot of Game of Thrones stuff. With um, she goes, can you imagine the absolute field day Snape would have had if the famous Harry Potter had shown up to Hogwarts with a solid gold cauldron? And then someone dressed as Snape. All right, everyone, sit down and welcome to Potions 101. I'm your teacher, Severus Snape, and if you want to succeed in my class, you need to do two things. Turn in your work on time and don't ask any stupid questions. And you now get we your have the mallow suite, and you, you have enough. to let him buy the What's gold happening? one? Wait. The to. freaking oh. gold one. You only use it for one potion. And then sever a snake at the altar. Dragon dice. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well done, Garen. What it's a whole long meme, must have learned but a lot it, during his time I'll show it to Professor. you when we're, done, when we're between the recordings. That'll be from Gryffindor. Uh, but it again. is... Oh my gosh, they go on a whole spiel. Like through all, all seven books, how um, will Harry should just you know, well. basically defeat Voldemort with his gold cauldron. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. To be fair, I would you make seemed fun of rather Harry busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Wouldn't you? I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Yes, learned a As for the work lesson. you did today at your own cause. Gareth is a fucking say, idiot. You've Actually, done he's well. A genius when it comes I confess to I was skeptical Looks given like the, the advanced are. nature of this class and so the fact that I saw a great student. edit. Someone took the opening scene or the first a like, rare occurrence. So. And when, you do uh, well to remember that you're not a potions Hogwarts. master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients. You should I will gain say my understanding of the ingredients one thing I themselves. noticed on that scene, Pay just in particular general, attention in herbology. When they pass each other, the plants they, you nurture there like, are often in. essential to the potions oh, you brew so here. Great. Now, I you recommend that you find a safe location place. in which to practice yeah. brewing. You cannot leave a hot yeah. cauldron simply yeah. anywhere. That'll be all. But yeah, so um, that was a, each was of a great thing. I finally found it. Glad I found it. TikTok thing though. You don't Here. fret if you run yeah. out of ingredients. I simply grow yeah. most of what I need. Yeah, it is. We're level 15 now. Been level 15. No, we were 14 oh, when we started. I my think. roads no. are going to reap oh. from Gareth's inspiration. After the, the combat, rest of term. Mm. I became 15, and now I'm almost 16. Why are we following Nominus? Because Duncan owes his reputation to you. I want to. Liz. Oh look, it's that woman. What? Booba Troopers! Is that her? Look at that hair! Yeah. It's been a while since I did that quest. He's stalking! Okay, what's next on the. Stalking ominous? No. Why not? Because even that gets boring after a while. It does not. So we only have one main quest we can do. For now. can also go wander a bit. Yeah. I mean, shoot, if we knock out all 50, if we get the last 50 of our pages for 
Hogwarts, we'll be in really good shape, won't we? Uh, probably. It took me the longest. The Highlands kind of, you know, the Highland one's the easiest one to be at, because at least they're on the map and you can go boop, 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 boop. Or, or, and just hear me out here. Hmm. I go like this. I don't think you get too many uh, side quests. Oh, check uh, Oxby. What do you? I don't know. Uh, nope. Nothing yet. So we wander. Yep. Or we go do Nagus quest, which we will or have to we do. Wander while we end. Makes sense too. Hey, my friend and I just remembered the Disney Channel original movie, The Luck of the Irish, exists. Mm. We found it and watched it. Don't do this. That's a lie. Please do watch it. It has Lasseter from Psych. It's a pretty decent movie. I like as it. As far as DCOMs go. I, there's way worse out there really when we're talking DCOMs. Really well, like really Zombies. Ooh. And Zombies 2. Okay, okay. And Zombies 3. Okay. Ooh. And they brought aliens into it. It's so dumb though. Often another you go from mythological to. <sighs> so, anyways, uh, hey, my friends and I just remembered the Disney Channel movie Luck of the Irish. So, we watched it. Oh, look! Flying! <laughs> yep! Good girl! <sighs> Dear Bad Gala, marvelous news that you will be joining the facility at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts would be less eventful than our time at Yokohama Harbor. Though no one never knows. Uh, I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Form of regards, Matilda Weasley. But then talk about how uh, Headmistress Weasley would make a better. Dear Madam Kagawa, I'm writing to do with uh, Professor Block's decision to cancel Quidditch. You can't cancel Quidditch! As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined or at least significantly thwarted. Mr. Weasley, that we must defer to the headmaster as she encourages me to practice on my own. I'd advise some challenging trials for myself. Uh, okay, this makes sense now. Uh, and she encouraged me to do the trials for myself, but it's not all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Can I please say you ask that you speak to the head, headmaster or to Professor Weasley? I shall, miserably, I shall be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor Imelda Reyes. Or not, thank you, Professor Imelda Reyes. We do get to do some stuff with her. Well, no, I get it, though. Like, you aren't... It's not the same. You're not practicing... You can only practice so much without a proper... You know, without playing. It's like, oh, I want to play pro baseball, but... You never have anyone properly... You know, all you can do is have a pitching machine. That's not going to prepare you for everything, you know? That a real baseball game would teach you. So, like, I get it. But anyway. Um, it exists, and we find them watch this. Don't do this. It's four messes and a half, but at the end, the main character challenges the enemy leprechaun to a wager and says, If you lose, you'll be banished to the land of my father, to spend it turning on the shows of Eerie. And the bad guy corrects him and says, Eerie. Thinking he'd mispronounce the Gaelies for, uh, for Ireland. And when he loses, he's like, I'm going back to my homeland, and I'll gain power once again. And the character's like, no, my mother's from Ireland. My dad's from Cleveland. And the bad guy gets banished to live for, uh, on the shores of Lake Erie in Ohio forever. I've been thinking about that for like two weeks now. And someone responds, a fate worse than death. I mean, you yeah. can't imagine I mean it's Cleveland. What's war, good? Nothing against our, our any viewers that just so happen to be watching this from Cleveland. Um, 
for being against you guys. But what is what is there in Cleveland, Ohio? Oh look, what is in Ohio? What is in Ohio? In general. Yeah. It's still better than Florida. No offense to Florida. No, no, no. It's Florida. I think even Floridians know at this point. I could be wrong. Revenia. And if so, I apologize. Sort of. Kind of. Not really. Not really. the wall. Pinocchio <laughs> from Shrek. Um, prevent not lying. Well, uh, I don't know where he's not. On the contrary, I'm possibly more or less definitely not rejecting the idea. I gotta say, there is... There's a bathtub in a jail. That's not that weird. Revelia. You're a little weird. How am I weird? No, I didn't say weird outright. I just said a little weird. How? Mm hmm. I don't put a bathtub in a fucking jail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a random ass wiggle well potion. Like, this is that bad. No, it's not. I just think it's hilarious because we're not even doing that much combat. Oh, hey, look. Yep. Let's try to be Teagle. We get that later, though. <laughs> Some of the collectibles they add in this game, I, you know... There are so many things I really enjoy about this game. I have to say that. I want to really preface, preface this... Preface? Preface. Uh, by saying I really enjoy this game and... Uh, you know, a lot of the collectible aspects are pretty cool. Some of them, I don't know. Just feel like they don't make sense. Like the astronomy tables kind of come out of nowhere. So the Merlin tables make sense. Like the Merlin trials. You'll see those when we get there. Uh, those make sense, right? Like why you would want to go through and do those. And you get a pretty cool reward for doing it. But like doing the astronomy tables, the landing pads. Like, I don't know. I just would have liked some kind of cool reward for those. No, no reward for you. Heck, even doing the races, the balloon, the uh, flying races, you get bet, you get upgrades for your crew, which makes you know you be able to travel faster for a lot longer. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So no rewards for you. No soup. No soup. Over the bridge and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. A do da 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 do da 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 do da da. Over the bridge and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. Ooh la la da ooh la la da ooh la la. Hi, Mr. Owl. <laughs> okay, this is an old one, but a good one. Actually, I don't know how old this is. So, uh, this guy, this guy tweets, um, the recession is hitting everyone hard nowadays, even Make a Wish. I wanted to meet the Game Grumps, but this was the best they could do. It's a picture of the guy with Jontron, and Jontron tweets back, I would call you ungrateful, but honestly, I would be pissed too. That's sad. Not really. That's hilarious. To be fair, Jontron's uh, got 
is somewhat controversial. He said some... He said some things. Haven't we all said things? Yeah, but he said some... Ooh. Not very good things, you I guess. I don't remember the drama. I don't necessarily care about the drama. I think JonTron... To this day, I still think JonTron is freaking hilarious. I said things. And it's different. You, you don't really have a... Uh, platform to speak on. I also don't have a mouth for any filter. Clearly he didn't either. But still just saying, I still absolutely love John Tron. He is so funny. And his flex tape video is <gasps> possibly one of the funniest. Bird bird. Bird bird. Bird bird. Just wait for it to fly around again. Gosh. And then grab that thing over there for Olivia, so... Let's see. Well, that turned out better than what I was thinking. What? For then, you know. I'm gonna do some. Gonna see if I can do something stupid. What? Jump? Yeah. Why? You can't make that drop. Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keep it out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouth skeletons. I when that. I was a kid, we dissected an owl pellet. I hated doing that. It was not as cool as everyone thought it was. It was disgusting. It really is. Like there's it's not that cool. And of course, I don't do very good with this. Dissecting things is not something oh, look, you should be footage. doing. Yeah, the thing we don't get to play. <laughs> Yolo. If you're gonna do it, do it. Congrats, you died. Oh, man. I don't know what you were <laughs> expecting. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the hand from SpongeBob. When they go out of bounds, it kind of pulls. Oh. Yeah. I still don't like that game that much. Oh my god. What? It was. There's. Banjo Kazooie's better. I hate Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie is amazing. I hate the Donkey Kong 64 is better. I hate the controls for Banjo. That's because you know it's a Nintendo 64 game. It didn't have that great of controls, but it was still a really good game. get a whole lot done this episode, but... Up or down? Oh, no, I'm going down. But, next episode... You're shooting it. Trying to shoot that. Um, next episode, the plan is to meet Natsai, Natty, um, in one of the ham in one of the hamlets, where we can do another... where we can start setting up her quest line, since... I mean, it's decent. It's not that bad. There's some, it, we do get some of her backstory. Um, but, uh, you've already lit it. And, oh, look, balloons! Yep, we can do those as soon as we get a broom. So, as soon as we uh, get to um, next episode, we'll be doing the, we'll be doing her side quest. 
as well as hopefully some others and possibly getting a broom soon. I know it's soon. This though. A little Easter egg from what I am to understand. Uh, it's just a little, uh, this is the caretaker's hut for um, Robbie Coltrane. He played Hagrid. May he rest in peace. But anyways, with that, if you like our content, like and subscribe to our channel. We upload twice a week, Saturday and Sunday. And have a great night. Thanks for watching.